All right, guys, how you doing? It's Isaac. Today we're talking about the LeBron James drill. I teach you guys to do this in practice all the time. And now I'm going to give you a little video just to make sure that you know exactly what I'm talking about when I want you to do this at home before you go to sleep. So I took a baseball. I already started on this one a little bit. I took a baseball. <clears throat> I found the Wilson part, or whatever part is right here. Usually it's Wilson or... Um, you know, whatever brand of ball it is, there's going to be something right here that you can line up with the best you can. This is a little bit difficult to get that to get that rubber band exactly where you want it in order to make sure that you do this drill properly. The whole point of the drill is to make sure that you can consistently see this line. So what I did, I put a rubber band around the ball the best I could based on where I placed my fingers on the Wilson part, if I'm going to throw a fastball, it looks like that. So when you throw it, you're really throwing it off your middle finger. At the, that's the, the longest finger, that's the last finger to touch the ball before it releases. So I kind of want that to be right along that middle finger and have a straight line across that. You'll have to play with it a little bit, kind of pull it tight and make sure that it's as straight as possible going around the ball. And then I'm going to take my marker and I'm just going to draw a line all the way across, almost done, right up against the rubber band. So I'll get a little bit of marker on the rubber band too, but it's there to guide me. So fill it in a little bit. And we're good to go. Just a little bit more. Sorry, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Okay, now we're good to go. So I'm going to just take the rubber band off. Now i got a pretty solid straight line. If I want to be a perfectionist, I can go and fill that in. But the whole point of it is to be able to get the spin consistent. Remember, when I'm LeBron James, I'm going down the court and I'm finishing with that strong wrist. I need that to be second nature as a pitcher. I'm a firm believer in the fact that that is going to give you a lot of additional perceived velocity. There's a difference between actual velocity and perceived velocity. Actual velocity is what shows up on the radar gun. Perceived velocity is how fast it looks when the guy's going in after a strikeout looking, telling the next hitter, hey, it's a lot faster than it looks. That's because you got that whip on the ball. The better you can do this drill, the better pitcher you're going to be, the better infielder, the better catcher, because it's a natural throwing motion that you want to be able to have in order to maximize your efficiency with your body's throwing mechanics. Okay, so now I'm going to just have this ball right here and flip it up and do my best to keep it straight. And the whole goal, as I get better, is to get more backspin on the ball. The more backspin I can get on the ball, the better. The more backspin on the ball I can get, the better. The more I can snap my wrist, the better. Something that you should be able to perfect within two months. If you did this every other night, 25 to 50 times in your bed, and you focused on it, and you wanted to get good at it, you can perfect this. And this will really, really increase your effectiveness on the mound, Wherever you play, in baseball, it really helps your throwing motion, it helps your arm, it helps your elbow, it helps be able to get more out of your arm with less effort, therefore being able to go longer in games and ultimately have a more effortless um, delivery. So, hope that helps you guys. Work on it. Have a good day. Get made.